Today we're on the Great Ooze at Willington, Blanham AC's water, and I'm going to show you a few tricks on waggler fishing, how to catch some lovely fish. Well, we've been fishing probably about 20 minutes and I've got my first proper chub now. Virtually on top of my feed it was. It's definitely a couple of pound. Oh yeah, nice fish. Let's get its head up. Here it comes. That's it, mouth out the water. That'll do for starters. Yeah, he's definitely a couple of pounds, lovely chub. Absolutely perfect condition, right in the top lip. Show you what we're after today on Blumland's Water at Willington. Beautiful chub like that, if not bigger. Awesome on a day like today. That's on double maggot. I've been feeding probably 30, 40 casters. Half to three quarters across, and I'm fishing just on the outside of the bait, running it down. With this chance of fish sort of up and over five pound here. And I'm feeding caster, fishing double red maggot, and I can try double caster on you. I can even change to feeding maggot and fishing maggot, but always start by feeding caster first. a lot of fluff on the water coming down and it's making seeing the flow just a little bit difficult out in the flow. I thought that went under them but I think it just went behind a little bit of fluff, a little bit of white stuff on top of the water. Smaller one this time, that's the second run through after that better fish. Just made you run down the peg, it just goes under out of nowhere. Probably fishing, I'd say six foot in, probably nine, nine to ten foot of water, I'd say. Actually, mint condition, these, these chubs. Full of caster, absolute beauty. Now I'm finding the best way to cast, I'll just rebate up, is I'm casting a sideways cast, not overhead, sideways. I find it very much, or you're very much in control. Obviously if it's ever so windy and you couldn't, you'd have to cast overhand, but I simply hold the, my fingers are probably four or five inches above uh, the bait, like that. I'll bring it to the side and just flick it and then stop it with my finger so I can just still push the a hook bait past the float so that it doesn't tangle. Then just feed, but I'm casting just below my feed so that it all falls in, in with my feed. Very simple, I just wind in. 
catch it, take the ballam off. So holding it, I don't know, probably up to six inches above, come to the side, slight tension, flick it, trap it with my finger, and the tail bait goes past the float so it doesn't tangle. And if the fish takes it straight away, it will straighten out and I'll see the bite quicker. Where if you land it in a pile, you won't see anything and it will fall, it will fall unnatural. Had a slight touch then straight away, but there's some bleak moved in now. Also, as you can see, I'm feathering the line off. I'm just keeping in control, keeping a sort of tight line so that every now I just correct the bow. And just with my finger on top of the spoil, I can let the line go or, or trap it. Now she's gone. Maybe a bleak again this time. You just very rarely miss a bite if you can keep, yeah, it's just a small bleak, if you can keep control to your flow, not too much line, not too much of a bow because it could put it off course. I'll show you that once more, I'll just bait up. So I've got my finger on top of the spool which I'll release at the point I know to let the float go. So I pull back, release my finger, then trap it again and it kicks the tail bait past the float. again. Not a big one but if that just goes under where it shouldn't go under because you're like three foot off bottom and it's very exciting when that happens. So you know it's going to be a chub but you don't know how big. Another little chublet. any bait inside his mouth but he's obviously in the line of where the feed is. Double red maggot, one hook through the head and then one through the bum because it's a small hook, an 18, it's just by hooking them both through the the bum or the fat end there's you know I've got more point change just hooking one through the bum and one through the head more hook to go into the fish. You're not blocking off the hole with the bend of the hook. So the point goes in nice and easy. I started probably, I say I'm about three foot, two and a half, three foot off bottom. And if I wasn't got any bites at all, then I'd just go a little bit deeper because if I was getting a lot of bites as soon as it went in, then I could shallow up because the fish are higher up in the water taking the bait. Oh, then again. That feels a proper one. Yeah, got a proper one on now. This would be a big boy if I get him in. Bending that rod. <laughs> like I say, they have five pound fish in here. Probably even bigger, but. Can't let them have anything else. They'll get into roots and bits and pieces that might be on the bottom or try and get up the far side. Absolutely thrilling when you hook one of these chub. It's 016 horizon reel line. I'm at 014 pair of micron hook length. So an 18. 
MXB2. That's a good fish. Went through some up there. I think he's ripped the float off the line then. I still got him on. Yeah, he's took the float off the line. Oh, look at him. What a beauty. Beautiful fish. Keep his head up. See the hook on the outside of the mouth? In the net. Oh, he's a beauty. What a chub. <laughs> How about that for a river chub? That's what we come to catch. He's definitely over four pounds. Right in the top lip. Right in the top lip. See if I can hold him up. Absolute beauty. What a corker. Look at him. I don't come much better than that. Absolute beauty. Mm. Look at that, beautiful roach. Better pound, fishing for chub. What a beauty. I'll just talk you through the tackle I'm using um, today for this session. Um, the rod I'm using, it's not an expensive rod. It's the new Ethos XRW lightweight wag rod. It's a 13 foot, one inch rod, lovely rod. I've got that combined with their Horizon 3000 reel, which I deal for waggler fishing, stick float fishing, nice big spool on it. Line, I've got a six pound horizon reel line, so 16. I've got a Power Micron 014 hook length to an MBX2 size 18. Small look for chub fishing. Trick them easy and it's got a lot of strength in a smaller hook. Um, I've got one, two, three, four, number 10. Sorry, I've got one number 10 and one, two, three, um, number eight stots down the line, just spread out so it's a light fall, and I'm probably three, three and a half foot off bottom. Float, I've got a piece of peacock, um, 3BB around the piece of peacock, slightly loaded, and that just does the job to cast out there. I'm casting three quarters across the river and just letting it run it down, but that is three and a half foot off bottom, it's not full depth. So, no, absolutely lovely. Nice balance. Got slight downstream wind, so there's no real weather conditions that are uh, making it unfishable, so yeah, it's lovely. Just started to line a few fish up. That's some nice chub, some chublets, had a lovely roach. But I've had like seven, eight runs down, I've had seven or eight fish. Oh, that's a better one. That's another big fish. Oh, incredible. Just try and get them away from the far side. got under there and he's got under there but keep the pressure on might get him away yeah he's coming away be so careful that's such a hard fighting fish these river chub this again this is going to be well over four this fish it just feels it's a big fish just check me clutch yeah
Here it comes. Oh, 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 beautiful fish. Keep his head up. You get a chub, river chub. Once you keep the head up, that's its mouth out the water. In the top lip again, just to the side. Lovely. It's not as big as what I thought. It's just real hard fighting fish. It's three pound, those beautiful fish. Absolutely immaculate. Pristine condition. Absolutely immaculate. Look at that. Absolute beauty. Let's get the next one. I think we'll call it a day on this one. It's a roach. To finish on my favourite fish, a roach. I think all we'll do now is have a look at what we've caught. Well, there you are. Look at that. Well over 20 pounds. Chub up these. Probably five pounds, that biggest chub. And then well over 10 pounds of other fish as well. Cracking days fishing on the waggler. Get out and do it yourselves.